Hello, and thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of Campus Coffee Hour. I am your host, Michael McBride, and I am joined by my guest, Sam Lesser, who is here to talk about his organization, Hippies for Hope. Welcome, Sam. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Sam, what's, when did, what is Hippies for Hope's mission? So, our motto is, wear a shirt, give a smile, spread hope. Um, as an organization, um, as a whole, um, the mission is really to spread, edu um, sorry, to better education overseas, as well as spread smiles in our local community. Um, so what each branch does, which is basically the same thing, we all have, um, you know, the same practices, is that we make and sell our own tie-dye t-shirts um, on campus or if the or chapter is in a high school, you know, um, in the school, and for each one sold, one gets donated to a child in each branch's respective local children's hospital, and um, half of the money is donated to an outside cause. Um, a lot of the other branches, they donate to Girls Education in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. um, the SUNY New Paltz branch, we actually donate somewhere differently. We donate to the James House Foundation in South Africa, which is like a child care center. Oh, great. Yeah. Where do you donate uh, locally? Um, to Blythdale Children's Hospital um, over in Valhalla, Westchester. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, how did the club get started and how long has it been around? So our branch uh, started about three years ago with our past presidents, Kelsey and Aaron, um, but the organization as a whole is a little bit older than that. Uh, our founder, Ashley Busson, she started it, um, well the idea came to her when she was only, I think, 13 years old, I want to say. Um, and the story goes that she was babysitting um, these girls during the summer and they got pretty sick. Uh, earlier on in the summer before they got sick, they tie-dyed some t-shirts and she went to go bring them to the children, to the, the girls that were in the uh, in the children's ward yeah. in the hospital. And when she brought them in, their faces lit up. It made them so happy, and not just them, mm -hmm. everybody else in the children's ward, they all wanted one, and that's where she got the idea from. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. How long have you been active in the club? Um, I've been active in the club since my very first semester here at SUNY New Paltz. So I'm actually only a sophomore right now. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, last fall I got involved uh, in the e-board and I, and I loved it. Oh, great. Yeah. If someone's interested in joining, how do they get in contact with you guys? Uh, well, they can do a lot of things. They can come find us in person. So every Thursday we are tabling at the farmer's market right outside the lecture center. Uh, in the winter, it's going to be inside the lecture center. They can come find us there. They can come find us at other events that we do around campus, such as a uh, fall fest or farm fest in the spring. Um, or they can contact us through uh, social media. Um, it's at New Paul Tippies, and that's uh, for Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, and we want to encourage anybody who's interested in Hippies for Hope to, you know, come learn more about what we're about. Um, don't hesitate just because it's, too, you know, don't think that it's too late in the year. Um, any contribution somebody wants to make to the organization mm -hmm. is greatly encouraged, and we want them to come learn more about it, how, how we work, the things that we do. Um, overall, we just want to spread the word, so we're never going to turn away anybody. Anytime yeah. you want to get involved, come come contact us. Oh, great. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. That just about wraps it up for today. Right. Thank you um, for having me. Yeah, no problem. Keep an eye out for the Hippies for Hope every Thursday at SUNY New Paltz Farmers Market. And if you'd like more information on their work or to join the organization itself, you can look them up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. From all of us here at Campus Coffee Hour, have a groovy Tuesday.